So I've gone over a few tools for uh, data manipulation uh, at the command line. Now I wanted to challenge myself a little bit and look for some uh, command line utilities for modeling. And uh, there's not that many uh, command line utilities for modeling, but there is one stan, or more specifically command stan. Of the stan interfaces, command stan has the lightest memory footprint. Therefore, it can fit larger and more complex models. It has the fewest dependencies, which makes it easier to run with limited environments, such as clusters. The output generated is in CSV format and can be post-processed using other STAN interfaces or general tools. With that, I want to go ahead and dive into STAN and talk about how to install STAN and also how to run a simple example model and uh, hopefully uh, make a few more videos on more complex models. To install command stand, first make sure you have G++ and make installed. This is assuming you have a Linux machine. Download the latest release, then use tar-xf uh, to unpack it. Then what you do is you cd into the command stand home directory, then run make build. If you're running an instance or your, your machine has multiple cores, you can do uh, multiple cores with make, but I was running a lightweight instance and so I just ran make build. If the build is successful, you'll see a message print with the version of command stand. So running an example involves four things. First, a stand file. Second, a JSON file. Third, what you need to do is actually compile the stand file. This will make a binary. Fourth, you need to run that binary on data. I'm going to go ahead and make a directory called stan for all of my stan programs and data. Even though stan comes with uh, some example models, I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste uh, a program in this directory and, and their data. After I have a model and data, I'm going to cd back into the command stan home directory because this is where all the stan utilities are. At this point, we have finished steps one and two. Now it's time to compile a stan file. I found that I want to include the .stan file extension uh, when I compile, but this gives an error. It seems that stan wants to compile without the file extension. So if I just pass the file name without the extension, the compilation works great. Once the compilation is complete, I can see the binary file along with the C++ header file. Now I run the binary on the data using the binary file name, then sample data file equals the JSON file name. This is a simple program with a small amount of data, so it finishes fast. The result of this command is a output.csv file. Most of the information in this file has to do with the sampler. The only column that we are interested in is the theta column. This is the posterior of our sample. It is common to run more than one chain. I remember someone telling me that when you are developing a model, you should run four small chains, and when you're done uh, testing things out, you run two long chains. We can do this with a small shell script. We essentially write a for loop, and each loop in the for loop is a sample chain. Before you get heavy into writing stand models, I would suggest you go to GitHub and grab a Vim package that will do syntax highlighting for stand files. Um, I think it's a little bit easier to find mistakes when you have um, a Vim plugin that does syntax highlighting for you. And that's it. With this, you should be able to install command stand and run a simple program. Thanks for watching.